Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to learn how to use blend modes in Procreate. Blend modes are a really powerful tool. If you haven't been using them yet, we're going to learn today in this quick video. Basically, I've set up a file here with three layers and the first one is a base layer, which is a yellow circle. Then the second layer is a little bit of shadows, which I'll turn it on so you can see. And the third layer is lights and it's a little bit of a white highlight that you see on the top left shadows being on the bottom um, bottom right. So here the layers at the moment are set to normal. It gives this cool stylized look, but let's just say we want to work with blend modes and see what we can get uh, with this powerful tool that it does exist in Procreate. So in order to access these blend modes, all you have to do is click on this little N uh, icon right here, which is basically stands for normal. So here you have the opacity bar as you can tweak that layer's opacity at any point in time of your working on your, on your illustration. And then it's really cool how Procreate actually have categorized these blend modes. In Photoshop, for example, we have just a list starting on normal all the way to down to luminosity blend mode. But here in Procreate, they have categorized into darken, lighten, I'll just click here so you can see, contrast blend modes, difference blend modes, and finally color. A lot of people actually don't know just by clicking right on the uh, N little icon there that there are actually more blend modes than the first five that's offered right here. A lot of people actually miss the uh, opportunity to click on lighten, contrast, difference, and color. So what I really wanna show for the shadows layer here is especially in the darker, darkened section because as we know, we're painting with a shadow layer. Multiply will actually kill that color that we had. We had a bit of a bluish uh, shadow tint and it actually is now multiplying with the base layer. So it's giving that dark ochre uh, tone. Linear burn will do the same, but it will burn the image a little bit more. So you can see it's even picking up uh, the yellows a little bit more. Finally, color burn looks like this very, um, it's almost like painting the sun. If the shadows were on the sun, uh, what would shadows look on the sun basically? So they will look probably like, like this really burned uh, color. And finally darken, I'll just click here. It's almost like a muted shadow tone. I'm gonna leave it on color burn for now and I wanna show you what lights can do. So on the light layer, right now we just have a straight up uh, white color with opacity on it. But if you go into the lighten section, just going on lighten, it gives this kind of burned out look as well. It's quite interesting, especially on photography, but more on the design, I really would like to work with screen and add. Add is really strong, as we, as we know, it's, it's an additive mode of pure white on top of your picture. So you really see how it kind of burns the pixels right here as I move the opacity bar. So I do like to work a lot on screen mode to get that nice effect that doesn't really burn the image so much. Anyways, I really encourage you guys to go through all of these modes and, and try different combinations and see what they can do. Overlay, I also use that a lot because in fact, I do like the effect of overlay in a lot of my illustrations. What it actually ends up doing is that it plays with a base color and actually plays with those tones of that base color. So it goes on a brighter yellow to a darker yellow. However, as you can see, if I went on shadows here and I did the same, oops, sorry, let me just go here into the overlay, it would actually not give me that interest, interesting look. And it's probably because it's also a, sh a bluish tint. So I'm just gonna make a quick new layer here, see if I still have time enough in this video to do it. We'll go select, quickly paint this. And now if I were to go to this layer and set it to overlay, now we're getting that really nice um, darker color, like dark uh, orange color, such as what we were getting with the previous layer on, uh, what was it mode again? Uh, it was lean, uh, color burn. So anyways, uh, I really encourage you guys to go on the link and checking what uh, the technicalities of what blend modes do. And just so you can learn a little bit more, put your mindset onto what the te technical aspect of what these blend modes do. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it was useful for you to know where you can work with blend modes and how to use them in Procreate. And I'll see you guys on the next quick video. So please leave a like to this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Ciao.